How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and we're back with another Daz Watches. Has been a while. There's just been so many good games to play. The Forest was amazing. Disappointing ending. And I'm also moving house. That's right, everything you see before you is going to change. And I'm moving, and get ready for a new office. All right, new new dazzling pad, all right? But but that's that's next week, okay? I know you've been waiting for a Daz Watches, so let's get into it, millionaires. Instantly judged. They think just because you're rich that you're gonna have a Lambo, that you're gonna wear designer clothing, and that if you got the money, why not spend it? It's a little bit more complicated than that. Me personally, I I just I, I one I can't fit in a Lambo. Two, I I don't want to own a Lambo, and I just don't care about material shit. If I've got a roof over my head, I don't care. I wear Goonies t-shirts. Like, I don't, I don't care. I don't want to wear Prada. I, I don't, I just, I, you know, for, for me, that's like advertising. Rob me. Shank me and you'll get my bank account. Like, that advertises, you put that shit out there. Look at me, I'm wealth, head to toe. Shut up. No, I'm not about that life. But some millionaires are millionaires because they don't spend it. Today on Daz Watches, we are watching another Extreme Cheapscapes episode. This one a little bit different. This one is called The World's Cheapest Millionaire. And apparently she just doesn't want to spend any money, even though she has it. Let's see how bad she is. I keep my water heater turned off. Uh, I need 22 minutes to heat it up. And I keep my water heater turned off. Uh, I need 22 minutes to heat it up enough to get a shower. Do you know what I used to like? Um, look at these videos and say, you're mad. <laughs> but now, when a bill hits my mat and my gas and electric bill cost more than my mortgage, I, I find myself turning the water off as well. I can't help it. So I turn it on every morning when I get up. Our heater came on. I set it for 22 minutes so I know. Just use the one on your phone. Those things are awful. And the switches always break. The spring just bring all they just break. I hate egg timers. It saves me over $80 a month on my water bill. $80 a month. You know, that's actually a lot of money when you think about it. Part of like my second channel that I, you know, I just uh, rebranded. You guys have been watching it. Part of the upcoming series that I'm going to do is taking my new house off grid. And I want to screw the energy companies. Screw them! Literally coughing up money just to heat my house. No. No more. I'm chopping wood. Another series that's coming up. My name is Amy Elizabeth, and I'm the world's cheapest multimillionaire. Who are you looking at? Who's over there? The camera's here. Why are you in a vineyard? With a personal net worth of $5.3 million. $5.3 million, and your kitchen looks like that. Looks like a retirement home. What's with all the beige? She's not even 90 yet. Everyone knows that when you get old, you start having a weird obsession with beige. Why is it all old people wear beige trousers and... And plaided shirts. I <laughs> Just because you get old doesn't mean you have to start, you know, wearing beige. I refuse. I refuse. When I am 90, I'm not wearing beige. This 50-year-old Las Vegas entrepreneur is still in the shower. How long has she been in there? She's been in it for most of the video so far. While we were married, Amy learned how to turn off the circuit. Oh, he shoots porn. You know, you just look at someone who like, you're doing something in the porn industry. He is a porn director, I guarantee. Oh, he's ex-husband as well. Yeah, see, he's a porn director. I guarantee it. Breakers, save on power. Boy, do you- Don't do that wet, by the way. See what she just did? Breakers, save on power. Boy. Yeah, when you get out of the shower, don't go finger a circuit breaker. That is the perfect way to fry yourself. God, look at this. Look. What, what even colour is this? It's not quite yellow. It's not quite cream. Looks like the fucking back rooms. This is my beautiful home. It's not. It's not beautiful at all. It looks like baby throw up. As you can see, it's full of upscale furniture. I upscale, is it? Really? Really? It looks like a nursing home. Love. The only interesting ping. Ping? What's that? The only interesting thing is that plant. To pay for them. Amy works hard to stay well below a $1,000 monthly budget. So she's not as bad as other ones then. There are some extreme cheapskates on here we've seen that would actually like throw up into their child's mouth to feed them dinner like a bird. And although she can't afford a more comfortable lifestyle, she saves more than $200,000 annually. $200,000? Annually? I'm turning off my boiler. 
I'm turning it off. Linda, turn the boiler off. It's been a while since I spoke to you. By refusing to buy anything new. This is my one sponge. Oh my God, from the 1900s. Queen Victoria cleaned her minge with... <laughs> Sorry. You know, <laughs> whenever I'm at meet and greets and I get some like five-year-old come up to me going, Yes, I love your videos. I remember some of the things I've said and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> some people might think this is a little nasty. Little? Look at it. That sponge is about to walk and throw itself away. Looks like SpongeBob's corpse. That's horrendous. I, I'm sorry, cheapskate or not, you're a millionaire. Buy a new sponge that preferably doesn't have the past two owner's DNA in it. Falling apart and rotting, I don't see any reason to throw it away. It is! It is! What part of that is not falling apart? It's got holes in it, look. Jesus Christ. Over here, I have one knife. I guard it with my life, it never- Oh my God. <laughs> just a drawer with one butter knife. If it never touches water, I just wipe it down on a towel every time after I use it. I, I pray to God and all the gods ever created that you do not, you don't cut chicken with that and just wipe it. See why your husband left you. The salmonella in this bitch. Amy won't pay anyone to clean her home, so her ex-husband volunteers to do it for free. The guy narrating this, he has the most masculine throat. I've the bass, the treble in his. It's like his throat was made by Dr. Dre. Saving her $400 a month. So her ex-husband, who, again, I'm telling you, works in the porn industry, cleans his ex-wife's mansion. It's not even a small place for free. Nah, they're still on the daily. There, there's an arrangement here. If you could start and do the, the toilet, that needs it the worst. Okay. Oh, if you could just fuck off. <laughs> He's doing it for free. Why is there a phone in the toilet? Who are you calling? Who are you calling? To work here. And don't forget to get under the room because you miss that a lot. Don't forget we're divorced. What's he doing? This is a weird, weird relationship. This, uh, this makes no sense to me. There's probably like a daddy daughter kink going on here. Yes, sweetie, I'll trim the verge. Ugh. This is like free exercise for him. Keeps him in shape. <laughs> He's not a llama! Well, you should put a pole in the middle of the lawn and tie him to it so he can walk around in circles. This, honestly, I feel like I'm watching The Sims live remake. House, she asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. Fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. And then I looked on the countertop and I noticed there were cat food. Oh, I know you're not giving your old ass friend cat food. I would sue. Cans that were empty. And I thought, no, she didn't do this. Here, I made you some tuna fish. Is he gonna eat it? She's giving him cat food. Is it cheaper? How much is a tin of tuna? It's just nothing. No, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food, but uh, I wouldn't put it past her to try. You're eating it, mate. You're eating it and you kind of look like a lion. So it adds up. Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Lawsuit for feeding me felines food. Very winnable. Ah, oh, ma'am. People are mental, aren't they? I saw a report, it's in the news recently. This woman, she had like attacked herself with a hammer. Have you seen this? And then she accused a bunch of like guys of rape and stuff. Like there are just people out there that think they can just do what they want. This woman thinks she can feed her guests cat food. This millionaire. Oh, God. I just saved 30 cents. <laughs> made me very uncomfortable. <laughs> that made me very uncomfortable. I just fed my husband my own piss. I just saved 30 cents. Feeding my husband my own shit? I just saved 30 cents. <laughs> oh God, do you know what she kind of looks like? She kind of looks like Hayley Williams from Paramore in her 50s. Whoa! 
Oh, I just fed you kibble. <laughs> That's good. Oh my unholy diarrhea. Oh. Oh God, it hurts me so much. I love tuna. It's like my favorite fish to eat as well. That's not tuna. That is not tuna. That's like you've gone down to a... I can't say that joke. <laughs> can't say it. It's too much. I'm going to leave that one. <laughs> the thing is, with all these cheapskate stuff, right? If you're actually one of the uh, 1%, I think it's more than 1% now. I don't know. That are over the million mark. You live one life. You're never here again. You're dead blackness forever. Don't get religious with me, all right? Just, just listen to what I'm saying. You're here once. All that money you've saved when you're in the dirt, what's it matter? What's it matter? Once a month, Amy drives four hours each way. Once a month, Amy drives to Los Angeles to coming this fall. <laughs> Was that good? I feel like I could do this program. Amy saves money by feeding her own guests her own feces. <laughs> TLC, hi Amy. Well, there we go. Uh, another cheapskate episode down. It's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I say, um, I am moving next week. Um, I've just completed on a house and I'm moving there. So we're going to be seeing a new office soon. It might be a bit bare when I get there. I'm going to be like filming a lot of stuff there on the land and stuff um, on my second channel. And yeah, I'll try and keep uploading as regularly as I can uh, whilst I'm getting everything sorted. Guys, like Lovecrest my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha! <laughs>